In today's video, I am going to show you how to set up your Epson Workforce ES200 Portable Duplex Scanner with the MacBook. Now the first step is to connect this scanner with the power cable. So it comes with the power supply. So one end goes to the scanner. So at the back of the scanner there is at the back of the scanner we have to insert this and this is the USB cable that comes with the scanner so we will plug it in when we need it the next step is to open the scanner so push it to the one side and lift this section it will open press the power button once now go to your MacBook so we have to download the drivers type in epson.com slash support slash ES200 that's our scanner model go to the Epson website and you will see the name of your scanner click on it you will see your scanner photo if you scroll down it will give you the link for the download so just wait wait for the system to show up so automatically it can detect your operating system of the Mac you will see driver and utility combo package installer click download open this file install Navi double click on it open so that's the download window so we have to just complete the setup from here accept terms and conditions you can send users information to Epson or you can just uncheck it and click next now we have to connect the scanner with the MacBook so use the USB cable that comes with the scanner so one end goes to the MacBook and the other end goes to the scanner so there is a place at the back so just install it here once you install it automatically it will detect the scanner and we can see here it says it is complete let's do a test scanning so, so open this section to hold the document move this button to the document side now place it upside down only then it will come the correct way you can scan both side or one side upside down click next on the Mac screen click next again and now click on the scan button that is here press ok As quick scanning go to the Mac screen again so setup is complete you can check for the updates and finish the setup process so that's the scan result now click on the next and you can just save it to a location you want so this way we can do the complete setup so if you want you can save it or you can just close this window now I'm going to show you a real test let's do the normal scanning so that's the first page first should be at the back like this and this is the second side again this page so upside down the scanning side should be at the back now simply click on the scan icon So here we have the result. So we can see it has scanned that first and that's the second and the back side is blank but it has scanned it. So if you switch off now we have both pages available here. So this way we can do the complete setup of this scanner using a MacBook and then we can start using it for scanning. You can scan two sided, you can scan photos, ID. 
so there are multiple options you can use with this scanner so this scanner is not a Wi-Fi scanner it's just a USB scanner you can switch off and switch on from here thanks for watching